you know, I, I still get surprised at how much women hate men innately. Uh, when, when they reject us, they do not like the idea of another woman picking us up. You know, when they reject us, we're supposed to be remain rejected. So, you know, it's like if someone, it's like uh, someone who throws something in their trash and someone comes by and finds it useful and they pick it up and then they call the police and say, someone's stealing something out of my trash. That's how women view men. And I'm going to prove it to you again with this Instagram young lady, but also from this black judge, right? I'm boring from Nate the lawyer. Thank you, Nate, for doing this video. I don't work hard. I work smart, right? And he sh showcases this lawyer. They talk about her, her incompetence, but she's also against black men dating outside their race. She's a single woman, right? She could snatch up one of these desperate black men, but she'd rather not. She rejects them. So therefore, they cannot find contentment through another woman. She became Judge Peterson, who, as we saw earlier, has an issue with interracial relationships. Now, the judge had to deal with an issue concerning a Thai immigrant who... By the way, this black man hasn't won anything. This Thai immigrant does not love him. She sees him as a green card, right? This isn't simply a, another race. This is a woman from a poor country who's using him. But he still feels contentment because he thinks he's won something. And therefore, this black judge, this black woman does not like it. It's about erasing our contentment. Who married a black man. Now, P.G. Skelton married in Douglas County in 2016. Now, this was before Peterson took office. Now, Skelton had written her uncle's name on her original marriage license because she didn't know her father's name. So she wrote her uncle's name on the document because that is who raised her. That was her father at the time. Then later, she discovered her father's real name. So she went to get her marriage license amended. She filled out the paperwork to change the name on the marriage license and went in front of Judge Peterson. Now, Judge Peterson, seeing an Asian woman married to a black man, decided to make things difficult. Peterson told her that she had to come to court and then ordered her jailed for 48 hours and fined $500 for her contempt. I just don't have a memory of my dad. So she used her position to punish someone because of her own racism. But it's not really racism, it's misandry. This woman was giving fake love to a man she believes she owned. She doesn't know this man. She rejects this man. She would never date this man. But he belongs to her. That's how women view women. So it's projection again, men, every time. Women project their attitudes onto us. They'll say, oh, men just want to own women. No, no. Don't project your what you think onto us. So, I mean, that's something you have to understand. We're not human to the average woman. We are objects for them to own and use and discard. And when they discard us, they don't want us to have any contentment and move on. You know, so there's real hatred there. It's not just indifference. Now, to me, this is even worse. This is a young lady. She's very pretty. She can get a guy anytime she wants. Some guy she friend zoned found another woman and she's upset with that and of course what she do right instead of owning it she tries to make herself the victim and makes the man the villain that's the gaslighting is going to get you very angry let's hear this monster oops sorry we're on it here we go guys get friend zoned but girls get fuck zoned that's not a thing that's not it girls don't get fuck zoned this man, this guy she's talking about, who uh, <laughs> found another girlfriend, he wouldn't refuse to bang her. He just found a girl who was willing. A boy stops talking to us suddenly after he gets a girlfriend. Or no, she is a gaslighter. She knows that whatever girl this guy finds, is she's going to demand that he make her the center of his existence. 
So this guy would have a harem if he could. He would have her and have her, this girlfriend here. But she knows as a woman, she, she would never allow that. So she knows better. She, he shouldn't be to blame. It's the woman. Or starts ghosting us after we reject his first move. Yeah, well, he's busy. He found somebody else. Move on. You were not a victim here. A friendship that we valued, we thought mattered. You were not this man's friend. You were not this man's friend. Men and women cannot be friends. And people tried to explain it. But the simple fact is, this is what is really going on. Only peers can be friends. And women do not see men as their peers. They see us as their underlings, as beneath them. So that's why men and women cannot be friends. If only just a little to him turned out not to matter at all. But in the end, we're the bad guys. We're the ones who lead the good guys on. Yeah, well, he put himself out there. You rejected him. And he found someone else. I mean, you don't have to be the bad guy. You are the bad guy now by making this gaslighting video, demonizing, demonizing this poor guy who simply found someone else who was willing. Of course, we should just expect that's what you always want. We should just expect that friendship is never as valuable as a twist of our hand. <laughs> Bullshit. Girlfriend is someone that they're intimate with, right? You, you spend time with that person. It's the closest thing guys are going to get to so-called friendship with a woman, right? So when she rejects him as a boyfriend, what she's saying is, I don't want to be intimate with you in any way, right? So she's trying to make it all about sex, right? That's the last thing on guys' minds, actually. The... Too many guys deal with sexless relationships. They want the company of the woman. They got friend zoned. They only lost another girl. And now see how she's trying to see you. You only lost another girl, right? Another rejection, but we lost a friend. So you only lost another girl. What are you talking about? So she's trying to make it like these are two separate things, right? She's trying to say, I'm offering you friendship. So what she's really saying is, you aren't a fallback position. You're supposed to put your life on hold and you're supposed to just be there waiting in the wings until I need you, in case I need you. And I may never need you or desire you, right? Wow, this woman, this young woman is a real scumbag. Someone we thought was worth more. We lost a friend. Yeah, she lost a servant, right? If this woman was a friend of this man, she would be glad. Did she say, oh, I'm glad you moved on. I'm glad you found someone who feels about you the way you, you wanted me to. That's what a real friend would be for. She would, you, you would be happy for this person. So this woman is angry that this man found contentment and it didn't revolve around her. This is plain evil as far as I'm concerned. And so, like I say, this is why men's rights are the way it is. Like men lack rights. It's because the gender dynamics, 50% of the population despises us just for the way we were born. You, you think things are going to be well on their own? You think is, that's why things have become this way? Look, there's, like I said, here's a black woman who's using her authority to damage a man. She might have thrown the girl, young woman in jail, but it was to spite the man's contentment. That's what it was. She was angry at this young woman for giving contentment to the men that she despises. It comes off in the form of legality. It hits in every sphere of a man's life, misandry. So that's why you have to come to terms, the fact that women hate men, right? You want to, you want to keep your rights from being stripped from you? 
which they are, they're being stripped from us one by one over time. You've got to come to terms with this at the very be beginning. That's the starting point. Okay, we'll end it here.